Ethereum ETFs have been receiving approvals, but what's going on with the prices of BTC and ETH? Instead of seeing a surge, we've witnessed a decline in their values. What's behind this counterintuitive market movement? Ethereum ETFs recently received the green light from regulators, allowing them to be listed on US exchanges. Yet, prices for both Bitcoin and Ethereum have dipped by notable margins. Alex Kuptikovich, a senior market analyst at FXPro, provides an explanation for this market behavior. According to Kuptikovich, the dip is a classic case of buy the rumors, sell the facts. This means that speculators often drive up the prices in anticipation of good news, only to sell off once the news becomes official. This isn't the first time we've seen such behavior in the crypto space. Previous instances, such as the approval of Bitcoin ETFs in January, triggered similar reactions. Back then, Bitcoin's price fell by 19% within two weeks before it staged a spectacular comeback. Kuptikovich suggests a similar scenario could unfold with Ethereum ETFs, with prices possibly retreating back to the $3,000 region, a significant consolidation area. From these levels, large institutional investors might start building positions in Ethereum ETFs, indicating a potential rebound in prices. Even with these approvals, it's crucial to note that Ethereum ETFs aren't yet available for trading. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has approved the Form 19B4, allowing ETFs to be listed, but funds must still greenlight the S1 filings before these Ethereum ETFs can be purchased by investors. So, while the regulatory framework is in place, the market is still in a holding pattern, waiting for actual trading to commence. It's also important to be aware of broader market trends and investor sentiment. The SEC recently issued a warning to cryptocurrency investors, highlighting key risks associated with these digital assets. Such regulatory signals can often lead to increased caution among investors, contributing to price volatility. For those wondering why the approval of Ethereum ETFs didn't lead to an immediate price spike, it's critical to understand that market reactions often defy simple logic. Many investors might be cashing out profits from earlier runs or reacting to the broader economic climate, which is marked by tightening monetary policies and inflationary pressures. So, what does this mean for the future of Ethereum and Bitcoin? If history is any guide, the initial dip following the ETF approval could pave the way for a longer-term rise. Institutional interest in Ethereum ETFs could significantly impact prices once trading begins, especially as these large players start to establish their positions. This pattern of buy the rumors, sell the facts may seem like a setback, but it's part of a larger, more dynamic market environment. The approval of Ethereum ETFs is undeniably a milestone, reflecting growing acceptance and integration of cryptocurrencies into mainstream financial systems. For those making an Ethereum investment or monitoring Ethereum trading, it's crucial to stay informed on Ethereum news and Ethereum market trends. As the Ethereum chart suggests, there could be periods of Ethereum growth following initial declines. Investors should keep an eye on upcoming milestones, such as the initiation of Ethereum ETF trading, which could trigger renewed interest and buying activity. Not to mention, the DeFi ETF and blockchain ETF landscape are also evolving rapidly, indicative of broader interest in crypto assets. As always, staying informed and understanding Ethereum analysis and Ethereum price dynamics can help navigate these volatile waters more effectively. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments. If you found this insight into the Ethereum ETF and Ethereum investment useful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates on the latest in Ethereum news and the cryptocurrency world. Your engagement helps us bring you timely, valuable insights into crypto ETFs, crypto fund developments, and more.